welcome back to my channel if you are new here hi hello my name is Rashida and I am a stay-at-home work from home mom of four beautiful children we have Giselle who is eight Malachi is five and is series three and today Naomi is currently a year old so yay today's my baby's birthday it's my youngest birthday she's Naomi she was born today a May baby Taurus gang hold on we'll get back to that so <laughs> But here on this channel, we like to provide you with all types of motivation. We have cleaning motivation, laundry motivation, mommy motivation, just realistic motivation to help you get you through your day, week, month, and year. So if that is something that you're interested in, please consider joining our family. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and make sure your notifications are on so you won't miss an upload. So today, you guys, like I said, today is Naomi's birthday. So for today's motivation, I'm giving you a little bit of party prep. We have some things to do in order to get ready for the party. Well, we have a, a long day ahead of us, okay? Um, so the activities are, we're going to the zoo this morning. Um, well, late morning, early afternoon. So we'll be at the zoo just about all day. <laughs> and then we'll come back um, and then we'll have a cookout. So we're doing a little cookout function gathering thing. After that, we always do dessert and presents and stuff like that. And then that's pretty much it. But like I said, I have a long day ahead of me. So I need to go ahead and prep and make sure that everything is set up so I can just go and enjoy the birthday festivities. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap her presents just to get them out the way. I'm sorry for the lighting. It's like literally early, early, early in the morning that I'm getting this started. So the sun has not came out all the way yet. But wrap presents, um, we need to, of course, decorate. Um, I need to get the clothes together that everybody is wearing today because everybody has an outfit for today. Uh, we just got some prep work to do. So stay tuned if you want to see some party prep work. All right, since I'm about to wrap these presents, I want to show you what I got her. So she has this learning doll, a set of um, bouncy balls, this, um, what is this, a musical learning bus, and then I also got another one. another musical toy i don't know why i'm doing this to myself but this is what she likes so i got that this is the learning book and this is the actual bus that she can learn her her letters and stuff like that she does have other stuff so i took her sister and brothers to the dollar tree excuse me dollar 25 cent store and let them pick out their own. So their stuff is already in a bag and wrapped and stuff like that. And then I know my mom got her some stuff. My sister got her some stuff. And then my brothers gave uh, money. You know how men do. But so I just need to wrap um, my stuff that I got. And then we'll move on to everything else we need to prep. Oh, and this is the paper that I got. I got this from Dollar Tree too. It's just a solid pink and then a striped pink. I thought it was really cute. I'm not exactly sure if it's gonna match with the actual decor, but we'll find out. <laughs> and then it doesn't matter, but I just thought that the paper was cute, so yeah. Um, also forgot that I picked up this Shopkins toothbrush for her. So her very first little baby toothbrush, cause she does have four teeth. <laughs> you guys i was having a hard time wrapping these presents i don't know why maybe my mind wasn't just into it but something just wasn't making sense to me with <laughs> while i was measuring the actual paper as you can see i cut it 
but for some reason like the paper was too big and I'm just like okay let me cut it some more and then it still ended up not being correct because I don't like to waste a lot of paper so I had to end up switching the present to the bigger one since we had a lot of paper like I just don't know but the math was not mathing in my head it wasn't making sense it wasn't adding up maybe we was just too far away from Christmas because Christmas I was on it and we you know I have four kids so I was wrapping tons and tons and tons of presents and I had it down and I got it done quick but these few presents I don't know it took me a very long time to get this stuff wrapped and I just I don't know why and in all honesty I should have just put everything in the bag because she's only turning one years old and at the end of the day she only opened one present so kind of all this is a waste but it's not a waste because you know i enjoy doing stuff like this for my kids and um, family members and everything else but she only opened one present so all these things that i'm trying to figure out she was happy with just one honestly So now that we got the presents wrapped, um, we're gonna go ahead and start working on the actual decor. So let me show you the kits that I got from Amazon. Okay, so her package with her decorations are in here. And I don't know if I told you guys, but it's a watermelon thing. I already opened the package here. But it came two different, um, I ordered two different packages. One was just a balloon arch. And then the other one was the actual kit. So we have this happy birthday banner. Um, these go in like frames. It says one is sweet, please take a treat. And then it has this little card thing for me to fill out for, with her information. Um, nothing. We have just some other decorations here. Then I believe this is the cake topper, one in the melon. She's turning one. Um, here is a little banner for her high chair that I'm gonna put on. This is so cute. Oh, that's good. So these are like little boxes. 
to put balloons in and it's three of them and one uh it spells out one so o and e <laughs> <laughs> then of course um i think this is the one that came uh the separate one the balloon arch one um i just ordered some more of these two and then I, I do believe this came with the arch as well to put you know we have a backdrop here which i'll show you guys all that in a minute wait a minute oh yeah no okay. um then this came with some balloons here okay and then the big watermelon um balloons for the arch so yeah this is just for to put together the box, I'm guessing. All right, so let's get started. So if you've been watching me for a while, you know that all my parties are centered in the kitchen. All my decorations are centered in the kitchen. We don't stray too far. If anything, we might go outside if weather permits as far as decoration goes, but everything is centered right here. And every party has essentially the same setup. I have this folding table that I put up and then all the decorations will go around like the fireplace and stuff like that. I might use the breakfast nook, the breakfast table, to decorate as well i might put presents or i might put food right there but for the most part this is the setup that i use for all my parties since i have been in this house and it's going on three years now since i've been in this house So before we get into like the big main decorations, I want to go ahead and knock some small stuff off the list. And I had got like a um, high chair tutu, not really a tutu, but a cover for her birthday party. And before I put that on there, I want to go ahead and wipe it down because it was dirty from breakfast this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and clean that and then I'm going to put the actual little, I'm just going to call it a tutu. I don't know the correct name for it, but I'm going to put the birthday tutu up on there and call it a day. Now I'm going to be working on these boxes. These boxes are like clear plastic cardboard boxes that you have to put together. And these were easy to put together. Don't look at me and get discouraged because I should have just looked at the directions first because the first box was just crazy to put together to me because I tried to do it by myself and I thought, my box was wrong and I was missing a piece or something like that but it was really just folded into each other so now you can see I'm actually looking at directions later when I should have just looked at it the first time before I even touched the box but these boxes were very easy to put together all you have to do is unfold it then it fits together like a puzzle piece and then you can um, add tape to reinforce it I definitely would add tape. You don't have to, but it is recommended that you add tape. And then um, you just add it to the bottom of the box and then you can flip it over and that's where you can open it and actually put like balloons or whatever you want in it. But the way that I'm doing it and the way that I bought the kit, the way I seen the kit, it had um, different color balloons in it. And they also came with one, the box, the boxes there's three boxes the letters to put on the box that spells out one and then uh, it comes with glue dots 
and uh was that it i think that's it i mean all of this came in the kit i already showed you the kit and then the balloons are supposed to go inside of the box The next thing that I'm going to do now that the boxes are taken care of is I'm just going to hang this banner. This is the banner that came with the kit from Amazon. And the way I'm hanging it, I'm just using push pins to go in. And as you saw earlier, I tried to self-measure it. It didn't work out so much because as you can see, it's not centered. And I could have just left it like that, but that would just drive me crazy. So I had to take down that side and move it over some more just so it can be centered. I'm not looking for 100% perfection, but it has to look, it has to make sense. It has to look right at least a little bit, try to center it more. But this banner was so cute and it's actually a very thick material. Um, it wasn't like plastic or anything like that. This would definitely last. Um, I don't honestly plan on having any more kids, but if you do, you can definitely save this and this will last for parties to come. But like I said, this one was so cute, goes with the theme, the one in the melon birthday theme. So after I got that backdrop, I'm going to be hanging the happy birthday banner. And the way that I hang the happy birthday banner is with painter's tape. And I don't mind the blue painter's tape because I do put up balloons to actually hide it. So it really doesn't matter and you're not going to see it. But sometimes if you're moving it like I was, it doesn't hold very well i'm just going to be honest with you so get it into place i would suggest putting a couple strips up there if you can um but definitely uh don't play with it too much because painted tape is really not meant to hold things on a wall it's meant for you to paint on <laughs> so i'm using it definitely outside of its purpose but it gets the job done and it doesn't take any paint off the walls. Now 
now I'm going to be filling out this little sheet for like different facts about Naomi. This is my first time doing something like this and I absolutely love it and I'm probably going to do it from here on out for all of my parties because one it was fun thinking of all her favorite stuff and how far she's come since birth but it's also good for other people who don't know her as well to actually see um, maybe sides of her personality or things that they wouldn't see at a party or just in general and things that she likes. So Naomi is one in a melon. She loves like soft stuffed animals, so I call them stuffies. Um, she can walk when she wants to. She started walking maybe a minute ago, but yeah, this little toy, oh my God. But she does it when she wants to. She loves, loves, loves dancing, and she dances on beat, which I think is so funny. Um, she could say mama, and she could say milk. Um, her nicknames is, I call her Chunks, or I call her mamas, and then my family calls her Nene. And then her favorite food, of course, what other favorite food the kids have is french fries. Her favorite songs are from Gracie's Corner. She will get down on some Gracie's Corner. She is 19 pounds. I don't know how many inches she is, but I know that she is in the high percentile for her age as far as um, inches go. And she has four teeth. So this is something about, just a little bit about Naomi. All right, now that the main part of the decoration is up, my sister is here. She is actually blowing up some balloons um, for me to make the um, arch for here. So while she's doing that, because that's just the last piece of the puzzle, honestly. So while she's doing that, I want to go ahead and clean the kitchen because I have about an hour before I start getting everybody ready because we're going to the zoo. And I just want the kitchen to be clean because it, when we come back, then it's going to be time to start food prepping and, um, you know, getting things going. So I want the kitchen to just be out of the way. So let's go ahead and straighten up the kitchen. It's not too bad, but it is some stuff that's just out of place. So let's just go ahead and get that done. So yeah, like I said, I'm just going to be straightening up the kitchen. Not too much to be doing in here, but I'm just trying to knock as much stuff off of my to the loop. <laughs> wow. I'm going to be knocking stuff off of my to-do list so that I can actually enjoy the day. But you guys have seen me clean this kitchen a thousand and one times, so just go ahead and enjoy this quick kitchen cleaning motivation.
So this is the last of the puzzle piece. I do this almost at every party because I just feel like such minimal effort can make a drastic change. This is a balloon arch. I did buy this separate from the actual other kit, but I'm just gonna be hanging this on the wall. And again, I'm just using push pins to hang all of this. Here is the final setup before we left for the zoo. Some stuff did come down from the wall because I used painter's tape. Like I said, painter's tape is not meant to hold, but nevertheless, I thought it was super cute. Now the next thing that I'm going to be prepping is the kids' clothes. I'm just gonna be ironing their clothes because it was wrinkled. Um, so basically all the kids, except for the birthday girl, is going to be wearing white t-shirts and blue bottoms or blue shorts. Um, so I'm just going to be ironing the t-shirt so it looks great. And the reason why I wanted everybody to wear white t-shirts is because she's going to be wearing a red, white, green little romper outfit, a watermelon romper outfit. And I really wanted her to like be the main focus. That's why I wanted to put everybody in white tees. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these ironed so the kids can dr get dressed and we can go on and head out to the zoo. So this is the last thing actually that I had to prep before we headed out and started the birthday activities. Um, we definitely had a fun time. I'm going to be including some pictures here just so you can see um, our family and stuff and what we did at the zoo and their outfits. Um, there was a whole nother process as far as prepping the food and stuff like that once we got back. But that was just a blur in my mind. I was moving so fast that I really didn't have time to pick up the camera. So I hope you really enjoyed this party prep motivation and got some ideas maybe for your kid's birthday. Day, um, different themes and stuff like that if you enjoyed it let me know in the comments down below as always I really appreciate you guys for watching and I will see you in my next one